Good morning, good morning, and wishing you a great Thursday ahead. Welcome to today's episode. We're talking about three things today. AMC gives free popcorn to investors. Fed to start selling ETFs and corporate bonds. Warong on watch and Citi's bond sale. Like it or not, the meme stocks are back. The Reddit crowd seems determined to spend their time pumping up the shares of so-called meme companies like GameStop. These tend to be heavily shorted companies with uncertain prospects, but also strong brand recognition and nostalgic appeal to a certain kind of highly online individuals. AMC Entertainment, BlackBerry, Bed Bath and Beyond ended the day up 95%, 32% and 62% respectively. At least some companies have decided to play to the gallery. AMC said Wednesday that it will give free popcorn to individual investors in its shares when they attend their first screening at one of the theatres this summer. Shares of the movie theatre chain operator and popular meme stock climbed on Tuesday after the company said it sold about 230 million in stock to Mudrik Capital Management. What is surprising is the rally stuck even after Bloomberg reported that uh, Mudrik Capital promptly sold off its stake at a profit. But one thing to note is this time hedge funds aren't backing down as day traders pile into these companies. Short positions against single shares climbed for the ninth straight week. This is according to Prime Broker data compiled by Goldman. I think you'll see bouts of volatility in that space and that will give you enough of entertainment. The broader market seems to be a lot more boring these days. The Dow Jones ended the day up 25 points or 0.07% while the S&P and the Nasdaq both rose only about 0.14%. The energy stocks led the S&P 500 higher with oil field services, Slumberger rising about 7.7%. Halliburton was also up about 4.3%. Reopening stocks like American Airlines gained about 4.7%, while Carnival was also up 3.8%. Microchip stocks also helped boost the market, NVIDIA and AMD both notching gains. Meanwhile, the S&P its consumer discretionary sector fell about 0.7%, coinciding with the 3% slide in Tesla stock. Following a Wall Street Journal report that the electric car maker failed to oversee chief executive Elon Musk's tweets. Moving on to the Fed now. Patrick Harker wants the Fed to begin talking taper, although slowly. It may be time to at least think about thinking about reducing asset purchases, is what the Philadelphia branch president said. At the same time, we have to be careful in removing accommodation so that we don't create a kind of a taper tantrum, is what he remarked as well. He doesn't vote on policy this year. An important development that happened yesterday was the Federal Reserve will soon begin selling off the corporate bonds and ETFs it amassed last year through an emergency lending vehicle set up to contain the COVID-19 pandemic's economic fallout. The vehicle known as Secondary Market Corporate Credit Facility or SMCCF held about 5.21 billion of bonds from companies including Whirlpool, Walmart, Visa as of 30th April. In addition, it held about 8.56 8.56 billion of exchange traded funds that hold corporate debt, such as the Vanguard short term corporate bond ETF. A Fed official said that the sales could be completed by the end of this year. Net proceeds will be remitted to the Treasury Department. The Fed's corporate debt holdings are distinct from the 7.3 trillion balance sheet of Treasury securities and agency mortgage backed securities. The central bank under Chairman Jerome Powell is continuing to purchase those types of assets to the tune of at least $120 billion a month as part of its monetary policy goal of holding down borrowing costs until the economy recovers further from the pandemic. The SMCCF was set up in March 2020 as part of a broader suite of programs established by the Fed and Treasury to shore up liquidity in the financial markets. Stock and bond markets at the time were reeling from the fear and uncertainty regarding the coronavirus and the economic lockdowns to contain it. Moving on to some credit and fixed income action, Huarong is still on watch for a potential downgrade by S&P. The credit risk assessor is awaiting clarity on the transaction that prompted Huarong to delay releasing the 2020 results as well on the firm's overall performance and government backing. Citigroup is tapping the high-grade market with a possible 2.5 billion bond sale. Petrobras is selling new 30-year junk bonds uh, through a unit 
to help fund the purchase of its existing debt. SoftBank increased its margin loan backed by Alibaba stock to about 10 billion from 8.125 billion is what is getting reported. Lastly, some comments from the world's largest asset manager, BlackRock CEO Larry Fink. Investors may be underestimating the potential of a spike according to the BlackRock CEO. He says most people haven't had a 40 plus year career and they've only seen declining inflation over the last 30 plus years. So this is going to be a pretty big shock. He added that central banks may have to reassess policy if inflation becomes a concern and prices may also rise as companies adapt to the realities of climate change. That is the update. Stay safe and healthy and I'll speak to you tomorrow. <music>